the Queen Deidre. And in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 6 of Only Mai. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Let's see what the fuck happened today. I don't say if I can't. Well, I mean, you are a kid again once, so I mean, now you have to go back to middle school, which sucks. Mm -hmm. Damn. I mean, hey, at least it's not high school. <laughs> you want to go? Go on, go, go. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Oh my god.
<laughs> oh, that's pretty and yummy. Go on. Oh, yeah, she is definitely one of those. <laughs> she came out to be worse than the other good little girl in the main series that I watched. <laughs> oh, don't. <laughs> Yeah. It's not a threesome anymore. It's a foursome. You know, square. <laughs> I love her. Well, a little snug on you. But it is cute. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. We use this as you going to school. Why not just, you know, keep this facade a little bit more? And that's why you're here, right here, right now in this timeline. Unfortunately. I mean, but at least you get to hang out with Momiji. <laughs> the saving grace. <laughs> the one that I sleep that it well, no, that wouldn't usually be me. Only if I was really sick and I had to go to school.
No. <laughs> A field day when it's, oh my god. <laughs> No, me was like, I'm fine. I got the, all that from watching. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shut up. <sighs> Thank you. Freaking up car alarms and people. Please tell me she's not going to go in the guy. Oh my... Wait, somebody might be in there. Well, you know, that's what we do. Yeah, they gotta go too. Duh. Usually, guys. Poor baby. Go run in there. Bathroom. Move! So close. So far. Well, I know. Yeah. Just think about if you were working, babe. Oh, and Katie's here!
the hell he got in the bag? Damn. Mm hmm. Oh, Jim. No, 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 you can't not hear. Yes, remember, you're a girl. Bathroom, duh. Right? You okay? <laughs> I know that feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> no matter what like anything you wear I always looks sexual as fuck and i'm like that too hate doing that but yes anything that i wear always always looks highly sexual and I'm like no I'm not trying to be that I just want to wear a nice good looking shirt without my boobs popping out but they just pop out oh, I don't know that's worse than the mile run we had to do Now, is the one that is sleeping in front of them, are they going to do good? Getting it. Too, a part of the big titty community, and you just be tired. You'd be like, bro, oh my god, my boobs, why are they so big?
right? Yeah, let's not talk about that. <laughs> the fact that, like, I mean, and I get it, because he was formerly a boy, and he was like, yeah, I can just go in the boys' bathroom. I'm fine. But like, no, baby, you a girl now. You can't literally go in the bathroom and think that it's going to be okay. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's like the question. I remember as like kids, we were all talking and we were like, well, we were, and this was health class and somebody asked this, but we were all curious, curious about this. So we're like, well, what if you're a girl and you're not born with this, you're born with that. Do you go into the male bathroom or do you go into female and such? And I remember at one time when my friend did ask this in middle school, our teacher could not answer the question. <laughs> And it was just like, it was too freaking awkward. And in a way, now we've gotten that problem solved. But still. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. But like, okay, one, it was sweet that Momiji and Kayane came to pick. <laughs> you know, up. like, oh, that was so fucking cute. Like, baby didn't have to do that. But yeah, what's her face? Like, I, I did not think she she was, you know, big chested. Like, the way when you look at her, because she is so covered up, you're like, okay, all right, three flat chested girls. Nothing wrong with that. And then she walks over to me. <laughs> and then you just like a boy, and I'm like, oh, okay. My sister, we can share. I, I get you. I know that feeling that, like, the, the blessing and the curse of having big boobs. <laughs> At that moment for Jim, that is a curse. That is always a curse. It's the, and especially if he had to do the freaking mile run and such. You, like, even now when I sometimes go to the gym, I have to make sure. And I, I know, like, other girls who are big chested as me, we all have to do this. Is you, You're wearing, like, three bras. You're wearing, or two. You're wearing your regular, and then you're wearing, like, another one for, to support the regular. Because next thing you know, it's just like this. When you're running and one's going this way and one's going the out that way and yeah and the next thing you know you're just distracting everyone and you don't really want to do that no <laughs> it very much distracts us. everyone and it's super annoying that's the same thing of like i said you know being big tittied and next thing you know you have this cute shirt and or you know you go to the store and you see a cute shirt and then you put it on and it's instantly, one of two things happens. So, like, let's say it's right here. It instantly stretches the shirt more. And then, two, it looks highly sexualized. <laughs> and you're just like, why? What did I do to deserve this, God? Why did you just, you know, destiny me with big boobs? Like, Jesus, what did I do? Why? Please answer. Like, oh, my God. But yeah, it's like, like, like I, okay, thank God I never had to deal, when I got cold and I had to do my mile runs and such, um, they told us really not to wear hoodies because of the fact is we would still get hotter and stuff, but the worst thing was majority of the class all got cold. So, the, the second time when I had to do it in middle school, I wore a jacket, I wore a hoodie, I didn't give a fuck, I was like, fuck you. Remember, I still have asthma and shit, and one of my teachers didn't give a fuck about that, and I really wanted to cuss her out that day. I really did. Yes. 
I was, I was close, but I said no. I was actually a teacher. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to beat the shit out of her. So I could buy. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to tours episode six of Only Mine. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode seven. Bye, guys.